Yo, yo, what is up? Welcome back to another episode of Those Car Dudes. JD, what? What, are you, what are we doing? Doing chores, bro, doing chores. Well, what, what is your chore? I've got one chore today. What's that? <laughs> Get washing powder. Some of you may be wondering, what is that noise? <laughs> First of all, I don't know if you can hear that. And uh, what car is JD driving right now? What car are we in? This is JD's newest purchase. That's right, I bought a new car and uh, I'm pretty stoked. It's a 323 wagon. There it is. Boom. Mazda, 1989. I can't believe I bought another car. <laughs> You have three. <laughs> One, two. <laughs> I bought it off a mate and I saw it in his garage and I was like, dang, that is such a good looking car. And um, yeah, asked him how much he wanted for it. And he said 500 bucks. I was like, sweet, 500 bucks. So our plans for the car is that we're gonna slam it, we're gonna lower it, we're, yes. gonna, put it, we're gonna put some mad ass wheels on it, wide ass wheels. And um, yeah, it's gonna be good. So someone had a go at it, it's got a bit of a dent in there, the Mazda sign is missing, um, what else, it's got a massive radio for like cops and stuff, I just mean, um, it has a Yamaha, Yamaha motor in it. Well it is a boat. Um, the boat is pretty sick, we've got a sub in there with some speakers which is mean. And, uh, Do they work? Nah, the speakers work but the, the sub doesn't. Um, but yeah, tidy interior as you can see. Ooh, tripod. And uh, even from this end as well, you know, you can kind of see that it's well looked after. The dash is in still pretty good condition. And uh, yeah, overall, 500 bucks. Pretty good car, I reckon. All right, so this is a 1.6 carbureted engine and it's front wheel drive. It is manual at least, but you know, it's the best I can do. But hey, it's not a performance car. It is gonna be a slam wagon and it's gonna be mean. <laughs> Actually, we could call it that, the slam wagon. Dude, there it is, the name. The slam wagon. <laughs> the slam wagon. <laughs> Bro, I'll check this out. Like, I don't think you can find this on any other car. Well, probably most cars at this age. But... <laughs> It starts first pop, engine's running smooth, alright? <laughs> You're a magician, bro. You know what, do, do what I think? I think Mazda did that on purpose. I think Mazda did that on purpose. Do you know why, Nathan? That's convenient. Well, you know, how many times do you have your keys hanging there, and when you're going around the corner, it goes clonk, 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 clonk. True. Bro, you can, bro. You just take it out, that's perfect. What a car, mate. What a car. What a car. All right, Nathan, what I have here is a teaspoon. And I'm gonna try and attempt to uh, start this car with only a teaspoon. Bro, if this works. Are you serious? That's ridiculous. <laughs> so. Bro, <laughs> you just drill a hole through it and I put it on my keychain. <laughs> So the question everyone wants to know is, how many Ks has this 323 done? And, uh, as embarrassing as it is to admit it, 342,000 kilometers, which is nothing for a Mazda. Nothing. So, we'll go for it, bro. We've only done, we've only done half its life, bro. I think the wheel the wheel's only... gone. Yeah, something's gone back there. Something's Making gone. a lot of noise. What's in the glove box, bro? Uh, got some extra breath mints there. That's, oh, yuck. What is... Oh, bro. That candy cane is oozing everywhere. That's disgusting. What else we got in here? We got some... Ooh. Smells nice. 
Oh, man. Oh, that does not smell nice anymore. Okay, what is it? We've got an iPhone 4 case. That'll be good for my phone. Come on. The question everyone wants to know, JD, is where are we going? Going for a drive, bro. Duh. Something for the 90s kids. Yeah, boy! Oh. So we just got back from a drive, car drives mid, and uh, we don't really have too much we can do on the car yet tonight, but we are gonna do uh, one or two things, and one thing that we are gonna do is try and get this dent out. So we're gonna take the panel off, see if we can knock it out. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Nice. We got it off. It's a bit wider already, bro. I have to be fully honest with you. We've actually started knocking out already, but pretty much we're just putting it on the grass and stepping on it. And now we're just using a piece of wood and a hammer, as you can see. Getting as much out as we can. Do that out. Is it? Yeah. That looks pretty good, bro. Hard out. Flip. That worked really well. What do you reckon? Hard panel beat with JD and Nathan. <laughs> simple as that, guys. Some simple tools. Don't use the hammer, like, just by itself. Make sure you got something under it. Yeah. Otherwise, you'll get, like, dent marks all through it. But that looks good, dude. I mean, ideally, it's not perfect. Like, nah. so there's still a bit of ridge in there, but... But it still looks pretty good. Better than before. Mean. Is this yours? <laughs> so Nathan, just finishing off the last bolt. The fender's back on. Nathan, if you could say anything inspiring in the next three words, what would it be? I lost where I put the bolt. I lost the hole. That's not three words, and that's not inspirational at all. Oh, okay. <laughs> the fender. Whoa! Dude, we just chucked that back on. What, what were you thinking? That actually looks mean. Like, it's not perfect, but it's good enough for the car meet, you know, the local car meet. I'm happy with that. <laughs> You're on buzz boat. So that is episode one on the slam wagon build. Are we calling it that? Slam wagon. We are. And uh, that is the Mazda 323. We didn't do too much tonight. We've still got plenty of other ideas and things that we want to do to it. But uh, this was more just an intro on uh, what's had going on this car and um, there's plenty more to come so make sure you stay tuned for that thank you guys so much for watching we're all wrapped up for tonight make sure you guys check out our other videos uh, make sure you like subscribe share those videos do what you need to do and we'll catch you guys in the next one peace all right out. peace out